Hello and welcome to an InView tips and tricks session. Um, just wanted to kind of go over a cool kind of support call I got today. So let's just jump right into it. And this is really going to show where the power of 3D really pays off and can save you some time. So let's, uh, from the library here, the uh, customer was trying to make this carrying case uh, or carrying package with handles. So let's pop it open in InView. So you can see right here, you know, in its current size and everything, this tab's lined up real nice. And actually, let's go look at that in a transparent view, which really kind of helps you kind of see, hey, you know, how is it lined up? And this will actually push down a hair more, um, you know, if in, in, but you can also extend these if it's not exactly where you want. And that's kind of what we're going to look at. So in the case of this one, the design they wanted was, let me see here, I think it was 10 by 8 by six okay so let's we'll zoom out here a little bit and you know as you know you can come in here and double click on these different lines like this and it kind of shows you which ones you're adjusting um so let's go back and look at the 3d we'll refresh it zoom out a little bit and so you'll notice that we're just kind of pushed out of here because some of these calculations are really hard to do 3d it doesn't mean it's not going to fit um, but let's kind of grab this handle right here both sides of it and let's bend it in so we've got this nice slider and so you can see we can kind of move it and so let's say that we lay it right there if you zoom in a little bit more you can see that we've got a little bit of a distance right here and we kind of want to account for that so let's let's oop. so let's uh, go take a look at the 2d drawing and start looking at some different parameters so like if we quick click on this hole Oops, where are we at? We're in the three parameters. Okay, good. So if we click on this hole, you'll see we get this HO parameter. And the first thing that I had done is I'd actually clicked on this outside piece right here. And I saw, oh, here we got this TFH value. So if I come and, you know, you can see there's a whole big formula in how it's using the different parts and making that. And so I said, okay, hey, let's just see what happens if we add a half inch to that. So or actually I added five inches. So you can see how that moved way out, but it didn't move our slot. So it really wasn't necessarily what we wanted to adjust. So we'll let that come back. And, and then, so now I'm going to come in here and I'm going to, like I said, click on this other part. We get a new set of parameters in here and we see this HO distance. So let's go find HO, same thing. Let's add in, this time we'll actually add 0.5, not five. And you can see it adjusted. So it's going to have moved farther than what we wanted. But let's refresh here and let's see. Okay, and so now you can kind of see that that slots way up above where we want it. Um, so let's come down right back to that kind of stage right here. Yep, that's where we're. And let's go back to the drawing and let's just adjust this by like 0.2. Okay, so when we come back over here, refresh the drawing. Now you can see that point two is probably like a lot closer than what we, or probably a lot closer to what we want. So let's just move the slider a little bit, drop it in, zoom way in, and you can see, hey, that's pretty much exactly where we want it. So the power of 3D, I mean, you could mess around and try to cut some of these out and samples and all that, but um, you know, if you can preview this in 3D, you can save yourself a lot of time. So thank you for watching.